apparently the men who don't menstruate don't think that tampons, assuming that they don't need them, are a necessity for women. Right now, in a YouGov survey of more than 2,000 American adults released this week, just 46% of men said that they agreed that having access to affordable tampons and pads should be categorized as a right, not a privilege. Now, of the women surveyed, 65%, a majority said it should be considered a right. So a majority of men don't think that having access to tampons is a right. So today we have two incredibly entitled women that want to browbeat men into paying for free tampons and they also should have absolutely no opinion about it whatsoever. They just need to shut up and pay. And also apparently men aren't showing women enough empathy. This video is incredibly frustrating as they are two of the most entitled people I have ever seen on this platform. Apparently just being born a woman means they should just get whatever they want. But hey, we're going to check it out. So let's look here. Um, this is women, right? They want to see more free tampons and pads, right, in sort of uh, public arenas, right? School restrooms, work restrooms, and public restrooms. So the majority of women agree that tampons should be readily available and available for free in these sorts of locations. Now, a third of men don't consider affordable tampons as a right, all right? So 46% agree that it is. Uh, and 33% disagree that it is a right. And then the rest are just sort of like, I don't know. I'm guessing in this scenario, those men that said no did so because they trust the free market. I don't really see many women besides yourself complaining that tampons are incredibly expensive. So I don't agree that uh, even affordable tampons are a fundamental human right because I just trust the free market. And in a world where we still have a tampon tax, all right, this is so, so infuriating because we don't get to choose to no. have a period. Like, it just happens, happens once a month, and so we should have access to, to tampons that and sanit other sanitary, sanitary items that help us yeah. take care of it. Because it's not like we have a choice. It's not like we can just yeah. like let it free flow. It's not like a privilege to have our period, right? It's like it's painful. It's annoying. I don't consider it a luxury, and so I need to take care of it so that I don't have blood flowing down my leg. Do you know what else is incredibly painful and annoying? Watching two ideologues browbeat men for something they have no control over. Your beef is with biology. Yeah, it sucks that you have your period, but please don't blame men for this. And that's not a right, that's a privilege to have that? No, 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 no. I do not understand. Oh. What are your thoughts about this, Ava, before I keep going? Um, I don't, you know, this is, this is complicated. I don't even know why men even should have an, have an opinion about this anyway, because they don't bleed every month, so. Because you are asking men to pay through their taxes for something they will never use, and saying it is a fundamental human right. Plus, then you go on to say that men should just have no opinion whatsoever and should just shut up. And finally, later in this video, you say men aren't being empathetic enough. We just don't care enough when we're being told by ideologues to shut up and just pay up. In yeah. summary, that's that's what I think. Let me mention, it I mean, has nothing to do with them, right, at all. So I just no. don't understand, you know, what how their opinion should even matter. So we were trying to in California um, make tampons more affordable, and our governor was like, you know what, that's going to cost the state too much. Look at how entitled you are leaning forward in your chair with this stern expression. Reality's come along and said, look, we can't fund free tampons for all women. And you're like, oh no, screw you, reality. I want, I want, I want. You just being entitled doesn't mean you get stuff. Like, I'm sorry, this needs yeah. to be a right, like, and especially in low-income communities where they may not have access to these sanitary yeah. items or it's too expensive and, and things like that. Do, do you know what happens? So even, they, the girls stay home from school. So it affects yeah. education, it affects women who are going to work. So it actually has a broader impact on society than just like, oh, you have your period, so you know, put a pad on or whatever. No, 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 this is really important. And there's yeah. still so, so much shame around this. And there shouldn't be. This is a completely natural thing. There's so much shame around this issue, is there? You've made an entire video saying for men to just shut up and pay, and that tampons should just be a fundamental human right, and they should just be given out for free. But it's never free, is it? And you're honestly saying that men should have no opinion whatsoever in this 
scenario. Yeah. That happens to uh, women who menstruate and there's that we some did men not sign that up for. there's some men that menstruate too, so I want to mention that. Um, but it's important to recognize that and we didn't sign up for it, right? This is something no. that happens and like it is as painful and annoying and inconvenient as it is, it's also something that's beautiful, right? Because it means that we can carry a child and all of that amazing no, thing. You know what? But that said, we need to be able to have a right we have a right to affordable tampons. I mean tampons are expensive. You don't actually mean affordable tampons, do you? You mean them for free. Completely for free. They should be in schools, they should be at workplaces. But it's never free, is it? And I just want to note that the privileged white woman keeps talking over the poor innocent person of color. I think you might have a problem. Uh, your manager already told you to shut up once when you did that cringy grin. Yeah, They're well, you know so what? If, if men had to go through what we go through once a month, um, there would be different laws. There, would there, be, there, there wouldn't would, be there men would be legislating over, over free yeah. or there would be it's uh, so a luxury tax on tampons. Like, that wouldn't be a thing yeah, if men had it's, uh, periods. It's so easy, I feel like, especially in this country with politics, it, for some reason, we just don't have empathy. I don't know where it has gone, but we just don't really consider other people. I don't even know why men even should have an, have an opinion about this anyway. I can see now why you don't talk, as when you do, you're just a massive hypocrite. You can't tell men to shut up and then say, well, they're not showing us enough empathy. Oh my gosh, men are just so awful. Maybe it's because you just told them to shut up and expect them to pay for free tampons for all women. Maybe try and show some empathy and then they'll show you empathy back. Even if you aren't going yeah. through that situation, we don't, we just, we, we, we lack in that area. Yeah, you know and, what I mean? it's, and it's hard and I don't want to, I don't want to fault people too much, right? Because I do think that there is a lack of awareness and a lack of information. Because like, at least like in my life, okay? So I, um, my ex was very woke, right? You're super like liberal, like very informed and everything well. like that. Please don't use the word liberal, you mean progressive. And also, woke was a joke. It was kind of like a joke meme. And now you're taking it literally and like, oh, he's woke, he's woke. Oh man, you guys are so cringe. You just destroy all jokes. You're not supposed to take it freaking seriously. And so for even yeah. like woke guys or liberal people and people who are in the know, they don't even necessarily realize what a burden this is uh, right. for women. And I appreciate, honestly, that he even acknowledged that. Because mm. I don't feel like, I don't know, if I went to a store and purchased tampons, I don't even think if a guy was with me that he would even pay attention. I think that's very observant. Look, this is going to sound mean, but he probably doesn't care. He doesn't think women should get a gold star for buying tampons. And just say if you're staying together for someone for three years, what, every time you go buy tampons, he should, what, pat you on the head? Seriously, the women I've hung around, they were never this weak. They never wanted little gold stars for doing something that every other woman does. But hey. Yeah. And I wish that, you know, more guys kind of stepped out of themselves and said, you know what? Maybe I don't understand it, I don't go through it, I don't get the pain, but you know, if I bled every day for a week, you know, and had to purchase these tampons left and right or pads or whatever, you know, maybe I should have a different opinion about, you know, how expensive they are. I honestly think if men got their periods and women didn't, society wouldn't care. And to all the non-ideologues, the women that have to go through this every month, it really sucks. I really do feel sorry for you. I want tampons to be affordable, but I think the free market will deliver because they're a constantly needed product. So I don't think making it a right would help. It actually would hinder the country because they want free tampons everywhere. And I don't think the taxpayers should pay for that. And I don't think you should just tell men to, they can't have any opinion on this topic. It's just ridiculous, you ideologues. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, hopefully, hopefully this video can do a little can do a little, a little, yeah. Because it is really, it, it's not, it, it's not you, an enjoyable empathy. thing. It's and empathy. We just don't empathy. We just there's just no empathy. I don't even know why men even should have an have an opinion about this anyway. It's like if if I don't understand what you're going through, I don't need I don't need to understand it. I don't want to. And this is my opinion. and I don't think that we should have to pay for it with yeah. taxes. And like that doesn't that's yeah. not how it works. That's yes, it is. How do you think the government gets the money to pay for all of this? 
through the taxes of its citizens. So you just looking all stroppy and saying, oh, well, that's not how it is, doesn't change reality. You seem incredibly entitled as you just sneer down at us from your platform of actual privilege. Sorry. Yeah. Um, let us know what you think about this uh, survey. And if you think that tampons should be uh, a right, uh, affordable tampons should be a right or a privilege, uh, let us know in the comments down below and we'll see you soon. I don't think too much thought has gone into this video think tank. That's just the most ridiculous name for your channel that you could think of, to be honest. I'm going to be covering them more because they've got a lot of subscribers and hey, their production quality, quality like lighting and sound is fine so it's actually really good so that helps out. And to everyone that watched my Angry Aussie video, it was set in 360 and it looks fine on my computer but when I uploaded it to YouTube it was uh, messed up so I'm trying to get that re-uploaded. Anyway guys, I've got a bi-weekly live stream series starting up very soon. It seems like everyone's doing live streams so I thought I'd join as well. And thank you all to my new subscribers. My Christy Winters video on bearing hit like 28k so thank you so much everyone that watched. You'll be seeing a lot of changes to the channel, new series. If you want to come chat to me please just come on my discord or follow me on Twitter. I just hit over 500 people so I really appreciate it. And I've actually created a Facebook page as well because I want to connect with a couple of YouTubers that aren't on Twitter anymore. So please come follow me. I have about zero followers at the moment. So yeah, it's pretty freaking sad. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And remember, empathy. Empathy for the whammon. As if a meteor hit the earth right now, they would be the most affected. Don't you care? It has nothing to do with them right. at all. So I just no. don't understand, you know, what how their opinion should even matter.